It's stairs. We are in Paris this evening. Just made it off of the Eurostar from London. We just got to our Airbnb and this place is absolutely charming. Oh my gosh. Um, let me give you guys a quick tour before we mess it all up. When you walk in, here's the front door. This is what you see. We have a kitchen on the right. We are in an attic apartment, so the roof is slanted, which I love personally. You can see the roofs of Paris out there. I'm almost too short for this mirror, hello? <laughs> Living room, love this wooden beam detailing. Coffee table, bookshelf, view of Paris. This is probably where we'll be working for a lot of the time in Paris. And I believe we actually do have rooftop access, so I will show you guys that later. And the bedroom. They even have little lights up on the roof. I cannot wait to explore out there. Actually so in love with this place. I'll be sure to leave the links in the description box. bottle of wine from a wine shop that was right next to the dinner restaurant. So we're going to crack this open as well to celebrate our first night in Paris. Changed into a non-white shirt because I would definitely ruin my hoodie. Just opened the cupboard to get some wine glasses and look at how cute all this like mismatching, super beautiful dinnerware is. So it is actually about sunset time of the next day. I had a chill day today with no vlogging, just went to a nice restaurant for lunch and browsed some shops. I'm gonna take you guys for the first time we go out on the roof. So there's a couple of entrances. There's this window that is just in front of our dining table. And there's also this window in the bedroom. It was actually on my bucket list to get onto the rooftops of Paris at some point in my life. I'm so happy that I found a way to do it, so. Wow, James is already climbing, look at him. It is basketball shorts. Good morning, everyone. We are heading to the Musée d'Orsay today and then Louvre in the afternoon. As usual, I'm running a bit late. We should be leaving in like six minutes or so. So I'm quickly gonna eat some bakery items we got from a patisserie yesterday afternoon. I didn't bring my vlog camera, so I wasn't able to film on this camera, but I'll insert some iPhone footage. Everything looks amazing, so let's quickly eat this. We've got a sugar, I think it was called like a tart, like a sugar tart. We have vanilla flan and then a chew, is that how you say it? Like a puff. I'm still in my pajamas, guys. I have to cook the change. Mmm, <laughs> mmm. Tastes like creme brulee, so good. Wow. 
guys, this probably wouldn't have happened if we'd eaten this yesterday when it was still fresh, but there's cream inside. just made it inside the museum and put our coats in coat check. Coat check is free um, for like museums in Europe, which is so nice. inside the museum's restaurant. How stunning. Oh my gosh. Okay guys, the line is too long and we don't have enough time to wait before the workday starts, unfortunately, so I think the Louvre is going to have to wait until the next time I'm in Paris. I mean, I've already been, but James hasn't, but he says he's okay with skipping it, so we're probably just going to go back early and start work early rather than wait in the line, which didn't move for like 20 minutes. I guess now I know to come extra early, even for people with tickets, it still takes like probably like over an hour to get in. There's a cafe actually right outside our Airbnb across the street that looks super cute. Um, so they're open until 7 p.m. So something I love about Paris is that the cafe culture here is like so prevalent that cafes are open pretty late. Definitely way later than in the States, which is super nice. So we're gonna go there, um, grab a drink and start work. to head out for the day. I just want to do a quick outfit. It's actually 60 degrees in Paris today, which is the warmest it's been this whole trip. So excited to be wearing a skirt with no coat. We'll see if I freeze. Heading to a coffee shop to catch up on some work today because I am so behind on editing for you guys. I'm so sorry. Let's go. This is so cute and tiny and charming. You can buy 
cups. Look at how beautiful that was. I've never seen anything like it. all day besides the new one like a little cake from Eliza uh, so I'm so hungry and so excited to eat. today today is friday it is a cafe hopping day well one of several cafe hopping days i have scheduled for paris but gonna explore actually our community that we're living in today and just stay within maybe like a 0.5 mile radius because there's so many cute shops and cafes around here and so i think i have a couple of shops on my list hoping to get some souvenirs for friends and family back home and i also need to pick up a hair magnet for my hairdresser because i promised her i would do that and then checking out some really cute cafes nearby as well it's gonna be a day of heavy walking i think we're just about ready to go let's begin savory buns and then a couple of sweet pastries. And the shop in here is also so nice and friendly. She's from Hong Kong, which is good English, and we were chatting with her about our time in Paris. So lovely. Just wrapped up brunch. I actually spent like a good 20 minutes chatting with the cafe owner. She was so lovely. She's actually from Hong Kong and she was telling me about how she used to do corporate as well, investment banking, and switched over to doing full-time food blogging and cafe running, I suppose. Actually pretty inspiring to hear and yeah, I love chatting with people and so it's really nice. Pudding.
pieces in my room. We're coming over by school. I could use a little something to do. We could go outside, take a little ride if you want to. That's cool. I did what I was supposed to do. 